Hey everybody, uh, Caro here, and uh, I come up with a new idea. <laughs> you know, I've been doing these uh, transmitter things for quite a while now, and uh, I, I have fun with them. I I really enjoy doing it, and from what I've seen, other people have fun. You know, either doing them or trying to do them, and yet they can be kind of frustrating at times. Believe me, I know. And so what I thought I would do is I would just try to start a little mini, I don't know if you call it a series or what, uh, and I don't know how many parts it will have, uh, but building an FM transmitter, uh, and, and the thing is we can build it together. And I'll show you what I do, you know, and my goodness, there's so many people out there that uh, have these really great videos that show you how to build these things and, and you know like DeZero 3 uh, he has some great stuff on there and I'll kind of refer to him now and then too uh, guys like Rick McWhorter uh, he's uh, he's done AM and FM so you know that's another really good source and you know it's funny one of the things that when I first started really paying attention to electronics on YouTube and I, I found Rick McWhorter's he was one of the first ones that I really found and early on he said something that really caught my attention uh, and he said he goes you know go and look at what other people are doing if, if, if you've got a circuit in mind Go see what other people are doing and, and how they work and, and try those. And then you can kind of spin off of that and start developing your own. And, you know, before that, I always just thought, oh, geez, I don't, you know, how am I going to build this stuff? I don't have the knowledge. I'm not an engineer. I, you know, I'm just a, a simple hobby guy. How am I supposed to? Well, you don't have to design. That's the cool thing about it. But as you look at other people's stuff and see how it's being done, you gather information on that, and after a while, you actually have the knowledge to where you can put something basic, simple together that will work um, just by kind of emulating all these other people. So uh, that's what I thought we would do. I kind of wanted to show you uh, the path I take and, uh, and, and, and by doing that, we're going to look at others and kind of compare and see where, you know, well, they're doing all this. And uh, so if I do this, it should work, right? So anyway, that, that's my thought. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try the best I can to, to get you so you can build a nice working little FM transmitter that will... Uh, give you enjoyment you know and only not enjoyment of building it and seeing it work but using it in your house you know being able to set up uh, whatever you want to listen to in one room and be able to pipe it through the rest of the house you know turn a radio on and there's some music you want that, that's pretty cool I like that so okay uh, so let's get oh, wait a moment something's missing The uniform of the day. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, here is the uh, the transmitter that I think we're going to build, or something that one that's close like it. Uh, now I have some video of showing this working and I thought we would start there just to give you an idea and, and it's, if you notice there's only one uh, transistor on it so it's uh, you know it's a little different there plus it's got this big bolt hanging out of it that's a little different too so we'll cover all that like I said I got some video I shot of it working you know like a little working demonstration and that's what we're going to look at first, and then and then we're going to get into the 
the gutty what's of the schematics and what's going on there. Alrighty. Okay, wanted to show you this. Uh, I've got the uh, I got the bolt set pretty well on a good spot right here right now, and I've got it set to around uh, ninety four point three. Now, uh, and this is my regular. Well, this is I have to work on the on the other Pioneer, so I brought this one in, but uh, I want. I want you to notice that um, I don't have this covered. I don't have a cover on this. This is out in the open. I got a soldering iron that's on. I've got this light up here that's on. Uh, the overhead is on. We well, know it's not, but okay. Uh, I got a computer running. Okay, so these are normally uh, these are things that will normally interfere. So. <clears throat> Let me grab the Sony. Uh, let me grab my little radio here. And so there's no confusion. Let me turn this down. Okay. Now let's take a walk. Little interference. I got a lot of stuff going on in here too. I got my my desktops going. <coughs> uh, let's let's keep going. This is kind of hard to do. I need a third arm here. <laughs> okay, let me let me shut you off for just a second here. Okay. Uh, I'm outside right now. <laughs> Here's a crazy yard. There's the old goofy shed. And that window up there is the room. It's my workroom. The electronics lab that has the, uh, the player going. So I'm not really that far away. <clears throat> and uh, here's the rest of the yard. We'll take a walk. I don't think I'm going to pick up because... Okay, we're starting to get a little break up, huh? And the one thing bad about this is I'm on an area where there's a strong st station. So, if I hold it up, I'm picking it up up here. Let's go out here. You can hear the other stations coming in now. Yeah, the other stations are are crowding me out now. Okay, I just want to show you that. I am getting... I mean, the neat thing about it is... Uh, I can sit out here at my table in the summer... And, uh, and have my music piped out here. Okay. Okay, I'm back inside. And once again, like I said, we're, uh, we're listening to the uh, YouTube music library. I'm playing it from my, my old Motorola phone. And I've got the volume down pretty pretty low, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing that I've found is the way you feed in uh, your signal. If you feed in a very strong signal, uh, with this setup here, you can saturate it real quick. But yet... If you send in a little signal, then you're not getting anything out. So you got to use that happy medium. And I imagine that's probably true with a lot of the transmitters. So that's one thing we've got to 
keep our mind on people is uh, the, the strength of the signal going in. You want it strong enough so it'll broadcast and get a little bit of distance, but yet too much, and then you'll saturate it and it'll be broken up and it'll sound horrible. We, uh, so like I was saying, that's something that we have to uh, consider. There, like there's a lot of factors, but still I'm so very impressed on how clean this is coming through. You know, I'm waving my hand over it. Normally you would get a breakup. I'm not getting any. So, um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to try to seal the bolt where it is so it doesn't move around. I'm going to see if I can do that without changing things. And then that'll give me, basically I'll have this transmitter set at 94.3. And, uh, and then we'll go from there.